it's Sal9 and in this video you're going to be seeing all of the best working glitches and exploits after the 1.03 patch. They did end up patching a lot of glitches so you definitely need to see this one. Please share this around if you can it'd be really awesome but anyways that is it and let's get right into all of the best working. So they did end up patching a lot of glitches like I said the first glitch that they did patch was this boss fight skip for the dynasty boss. This one used to work by just simply climbing up these and then just going to the top and then just kind of jumping to just the other side and you would actually be able to skip this boss fight. They did end up patching this so this glitch does not work anymore. Next glitch that they did end up patching which is very interesting that they patched this one is the other boss skip in the beginning of the game you used to be able to skip this right here skip this kind of boss fight that is located right here and you used to do that by heading all the way over here and jumping on top of these roots they did end up totally removing the roots which is interesting but stay tuned because i'm gonna try to find an after patch for that so there may be an after patch for that boss fight skip but those are the two glitches that they mainly patched now let's move on to the best working glitch and in fact this is the only working glitch after the patch 1.03. Now I have posted this before but I want to post it again just to let you guys know it still works after the recent patch. So let's get right into how to do this. You need somebody else for this glitch. This is not solo so if you guys do not have anybody to do this with drop a game attack down below man do that right now drop a game attack and somebody might add you and if that doesn't work go right ahead head to the description and join my discord and try to find somebody through that discord but once you guys are done getting another person you then want one person to go into their playstation settings i'm not too sure if you guys can do this in any other console but i do know this works on playstation Four. So all you need to do is simply head all the way over to the saved data management in your settings on PlayStation. And then you guys want to go all the way down to where it says auto upload. You guys want to select that, then go to Elden Ring, then make sure that that is unchecked. Then you want to go all the way to upload to online storage, and then simply upload it to the online storage. At this point, you guys are done with that step. Now all you're going to do is simply head back into your game because that will close your application when you're doing that. When you're back into your game, you guys want to have your friend join your game and then once he is done joining your game, all you want to do after that is you guys want to drop the items that you want to duplicate. As you can see, we're dropping these right here. These are the best things to duplicate since you will get runes from these and you can get a ton of runes with this now simply drop them then once you drop them you guys want to have your friend pick up the items as you can see he's picking up the items right now now once your friend has officially picked up those items you then want to close your application then go back into your settings then go to save management then select saved data in online storage you want to download the saved data and what this is doing is this is downloading that save that you had when you had those items so you drop those items your friend has them but you're downloading the save where you had the items so that means you never lost them and you turned off auto save so it won't auto save and that's how this glitch works now once you guys are done downloading that save go right ahead head back into the game and if you go back in your game you should realize that you're going to have those items yet again even though you just drop them and even though your friend has them now at this point you want to simply rinse and repeat have your friend join your game you're gonna drop those items then once those items are on the ground have your friend pick up those items then after that you're just gonna close your application literally so easy so broken and so easy close your application go back into those settings download that save data and that'll make it so you have those items yet again and then once you're done downloading it simply go right ahead and head back into the game rinse and repeat over and over and over until your friend has the max amount of that item and you guys can keep on doing this super broken this is the best way of getting runes definitely go right ahead and drop a game attack get a friend and do this right now now i do want to mention that they might ban people for this personally i don't think they're going to but I did hear from other people that they might ban people. But like I said, I don't think they're going to, but use this at your own risk. So this next one is a infinite healing exploit or just infinite health, whatever you want to call it. That's what this one is. And this one is still working. 
And all you guys do for this one is you want to start off your game from the first step and just get your horse at the gate front. Then when you get your horse at the gate front, simply just keep on heading north past this Storm Hill shack. Then you guys will see a bridge after you get all the way over here. You guys want to take a left at the bridge, then continue to go forward. Then you guys will be all the way in this other area. You guys want to continue going forward until you go to the fallen ruins of the Lake Grace. Then keep going forward until you go to the Temple Quarter. Now you guys want to head all the way over to the Temple Quarter. And right here there's going to be a dragon. And behind that dragon there's going to be a key for opening a certain door. Then you want to take the key all the way over to this grace right here. There is going to be a door right here. Simply use that key that you grabbed earlier to open the door. Then when you're in this area, you're going to go all the way over to the main academy gate. And you guys want to simply make sure you guys activate that grace right there. You guys just want to keep on continuing to go forward in this area until you reach the schoolhouse classroom grace and that's exactly how you guys get there now if you guys want to see me actually walk there and everything i will link a video where it show me actually walking there but i think this explains it just as well you know rather than me just walking there so just follow exactly where i go on the map now in order to get the first item for its exploit you guys want to go forward then take a left then keep on going straight you're going to see this bookshelf this bookshelf is fake you guys want to roll into this bookshelf it's going to disappear then move forward and just simply take another left drop down here and then take another left when you're all the way over here jump up these rocks then do another jump right here then you're gonna see this body and you guys want to simply pick up the item that's on this body and the item that you're picking up is the first item for this exploit now let's move on to the second item now we're gonna go straight again and instead of going left we're going right then go up these stairs then simply turn around just simply take a left and just turn around go up these stairs more and just run past all of these enemies since there are gonna be a lot of enemies but when you guys are right here you're gonna see mist and this is a boss fight you do need to complete this boss fight to get the second item. This boss fight is definitely not too difficult. Now you can take this enemy out however you want to take him out. The best way is to summon these dogs then simply take out the rock sling and simply just use that rock sling over and over and over while he is going after your summon. And once you guys are done defeating that boss you're gonna see there's gonna be a grace on the ground. Simply activate that grace then you guys are gonna be getting that second item. The second item is very very close to his boss fight. All you want to do is simply run forward, then you're going to see this building on your left. Simply hug this building and then take a left up here. Make sure you hug this building. If you do not, then you will get an enemy attracted to you and the enemy can kill you easily. So simply just keep on following me. There is going to be an enemy right here. Simply just take him out. He's wicked wicked weak so you should be able to take him out in one hit. Then if you look to your left, you're going to see this enemy right here. Now this one is going to give you that second item that you need. So go right ahead, take out whatever you guys need to take out. Now I'm pretty sure you cannot take them out with spells. You guys have to use a melee weapon. And as you can see, I'm using this melee weapon right here. And I'm taking them out and I'm going to take them out very, very quick and easy. And as you can see, I took them out and I got that second item. Now that is exactly how you guys get these two items. I showed you guys exactly what to do. And now with these items, you're going to be doing an exploit that's going to let you regenerate your health all the way from very low health to the max health and you guys can keep on doing this it's super super broken and this is infinite meaning that there is no limit on it you guys can use this and just regenerate your health forever when you take that damage and all you guys do to do this exploit is you want to first take damage now you cannot be full health and do this since you're already full health so you can't heal if you're full health so take damage after you take damage you go into your equipment then you guys will see those two items simply switch back and forth between those items and if you do that properly then for some weird reason it's going to keep on regenerating your health you guys can do this over and over and over every time you take damage so you guys don't have to waste those drinks for the health you guys can literally use this it's so cool and super useful you guys can do this in boss fights if you want you guys can do this just if you get hit super cool very very easy and this is the infinite health exploit so there are two more and these two are kind of farming methods or exploits whatever you want to call them and i'm not going to explain the setup i'm just going to explain to you guys where they are and kind of what to do 
If you guys want to see a more in-depth video on these two exploits or farming methods, like I said, whatever you want to call them, simply check out the description for a more in-depth. I don't want to make this video like 20 minutes long, I just want to give you guys all the working, and now let's get right into this. So his first farming method is going to be with a boulder, it's going to be all the way over in this location, I'm going to pull up the map. This one is very well known, and when you do get here, you want to make sure that you activate the grace next to this area. Then you guys want to go on your horse, simply head all the way down where you see me, boulder is going to spawn, simply turn around right before the boulder hits you, then you're going to get runes from the boulder. And this is only good for new players, this is not good for like people that are level 300, but you simply can pull up the menu of the map and teleport to the grace that is right next to you that you were just at a second ago, and then when you're at that grace, run back down, get that boulder to spawn, then turn around and just simply have that boulder go off the cliff. Simply rinse and repeat and you guys can do this forever and get tons and tons of runes if you are a new player. So there's that first one. The second farm is super well known as well. This one is actually more well known than the one that I just showed you. And this one is in the dynasty area. Now, like I said, all of you guys will probably already know this. This has been posted several times. I'm just posting it again, just to let you guys know that this still works. They did not end up nerfing it or patching it. And basically all you do is you want to head all the way over to this side of the cliff, then take out a bow, shoot the bird, then turn to your right, and then if you have an AoE damage weapon, then take out a few of these enemies right here. Now if you do not have a weapon that does AoE effects, then simply just don't take them out because you're just going to be wasting time. But once you guys do end up either killing those enemies if you have an AoE damage weapon, or just shooting the bird, you guys want to simply go to the grace, use the grace, then back out of the grace, Go right ahead, shoot that bird again, turn to your right as soon as you shoot him, then like I said, take out these enemies if you have an AoE damage, and that's all you guys do. Now these rune methods, you know, farming methods, exploits, all that, are definitely best if you have the gold pickle fouled foot and the golden scarab. If you do not know how to get those two items, I will have a video linked down below in the description that's going to go fully in depth on how to get those items. But anyways, that's it for this video on all of the best working. And we went through, showed you guys a ton of glitches, exploits, and farms. Definitely if you use that glitch that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, you can get millions and just billions of runes really quickly. We showed you guys exactly what was patched. Make sure you subscribe and smash the like button for more videos like this. I will be looking for after patches for these glitches that were patched, so stay tuned. But anyways, that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the Ninja Team. But anyways, that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and have a great day slash night. Peace out.